SCP-2460 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures Due to its position and properties, SCP-2460 is not contained at this time. Space agencies are to be informed of SCP-2460's trajectory so that satellites and launches do not collide with SCP-2460. When doing so, SCP-2460 is to be listed as a large piece of space debris. No object is allowed within 50 kilometers of SCP-2460. Any matter colliding with SCP-2460 must be reported to the Astronomical Tracking Unit at Site-195 immediately. In the event of a collision, the mass, density, and Schwarzschild radius of SCP-2460 must be re-measured and its resulting new orbital trajectory calculated. Description SCP-2460 is a gravitational anomaly in elliptical orbit around the Earth. It has an orbital period of 4 hours, with the furthest distance from the surface of the Earth is 12,430 kilometers, and a closest approach of 395 kilometers. Measurement of the gravitational anomaly indicates it has a mass of 1.24 times 10 to the 13 kilograms. At the location of the anomaly, there is an apparent object of approximately 50 meters by 30 meters by 15 meters. This gives the object a measured density of 5.51 times 10 to the 8th kilograms per meter cubed, which is approximately 100,000 times the density of the Earth and close to the density of a white dwarf star. The shape of this object is variable in appearance, with components of different materials appearing to erupt from the surface of the object only to be reabsorbed. Furthermore, the object is virtually invisible to electromagnetic radiation and has no measurable charge, magnetic moment, or wave emissions. However, despite this behavior, Photons in the visible light spectrum still interact with the object, albeit at a low albedo of 0.01. The anomaly behaves very differently on the quantum level. SCP-2460 is comprised of bosonic matter that anomalously maintains much of the structure of fermionic or normal matter. This anomalous construction causes the Pauli exclusion principle not to apply allowing matter to occupy the same quantum state as other similarly composed bosonic matter. In addition, electromagnetic interaction is suppressed. As a result, the bosonic electron fields between objects in SCP-2460 do not repel each other. The net result of these anomalous quantum effects is that multiple individual objects within SCP-2460 occupy the same place at the same time. What appears to be objects growing out of and receding into SCP-2460 is actually thousands of co-locating objects oscillating about the gravitational center of the anomaly. The exceptionally high mass of SCP-2460 is the result of these thousands of individual objects occupying the same location, all gravitationally bound together. It is important to note that this co-location is not a spatio-temporal distortion, but the net result of the lack of interaction between individual objects in the anomaly. There is no risk of a reversion to a Euclidean space, because the space is already Euclidean. The influence of the gravitation of thousands of objects acts as a strange attractor, keeping each individual object within 105 meters of the center of SCP-2460 at all times. The chaotic nature of the attractor has caused multiple objects to be shown at the surface of SCP-2460 at different intervals. Most of the items expressed are space dust and rocky debris similar in composition to asteroids. The following items are notable, however. A planetesimal with the above dimensions of 50 meters by 30 meters and 15 meters. This item acts as the surface of SCP-2460. Of note is the distinct lack of cratering on the surface. A comet nucleus of approximately 5 meters diameter. Visible spectral analysis suggests that the object's original location was the Oort cloud. 
a spacefaring vessel of unknown make, 10 meters in length. The hull is covered with unidentified symbols. Through a plate glass window, two beings are visible, apparently long deceased and desiccated, resembling crocodilian humanoids. Approximately 1,000 metric tons of hydrogen and helium, compressed under gravitation into a superfluid state. 90 capsules, each containing a single humanoid occupant, each co-locating independently from the others. The occupants are apparently dead and desiccated. Foundation Probe OU-11-3 and Agent Rick Roberts, deceased. Addendum 2460-A On February 15, 2013, a stray orbiting steel bolt attached to a retaining plate from the Data Redacted Disaster was seen to be captured by the gravity well and collide with SCP-2460. It was observed that the collision caused no impact site and the bolt passed through the center without hindrance. However, post-collision, the bolt and plate no longer registered any electromagnetic field deformation. Further observation demonstrated that the bolt remains attached to the plate, confirming that the co-location effect of items caught within the anomaly does not extend to items that are exposed within milliseconds to it. This observation further suggests that all objects seen in SCP-2460 were, at one time, normal fermionic matter, transformed by the anomaly into the presently seen amalgamation. It is hypothesized that the anomaly annihilates the quantum spin of the subatomic particles, transforming the matter from fermionic to bosonic and allowing it to co-locate. Containment procedures updated to prevent further matter collisions with SCP-2460. Further testing is suggested. Addendum 2460-B On February 5, 2014, SCP-2460 was noted to pass within 70 kilometers of Foundation Orbital Unit 11, and a sortie was authorized to intercept the anomaly for quantum measurements. Agent Rick Roberts was sent in probe OU-11-3 to examine the anomaly at close range for testing of the quantum signature of the matter within the object. Radio contact with probe OU-11-3 ceased when the probe came within 5 kilometers of the central mass. Approximately 0.5 seconds before loss of contact, apparent density of the low Earth orbit medium seemed to increase from 1.0 times 10 to the 11 kilograms per meter cubed to 7.3 times 10 to the negative 9 kilograms per meter cubed. All remaining data from the experiment comes from the cameras aboard Orbital Unit 11. Agent Roberts quickly noted the lack of radio contact and engaged thrusters to maneuver away from SCP-2460. The fuel was seen to ignite and pass ineffectually through the hull and cabin of probe OU-11-3. Unable to adjust position to trajectory, probe OU-11-3 was gravitationally captured by SCP-2460 and fell into the central mass. 15,534 kilograms added to the mass of SCP-2460. Trajectory and Schwarzschild radius recalculated.